let's talk about pinholes. First, I'm going to open this little compact up, and that'll show you what I'm doing to the smartphone that I'm modifying as we go through this video. And here is a 0.35 millimeter pinhole, so basically one third of a millimeter large. It's a very small hole. It's in the center of that little brass orange part on the disc. And you see I've got a rubber band around my phone. That's so I can push that little card right in there. And now I'm just going to push it in there and then push it down a little bit. It's going to get dark for a second, but we're going to see some bright points on the, the compact mirror because that's very bright. Those are the specular highlights. And uh, there we go. Just adjust it so it's centered right up over the lens. Now the pinhole is directly centered over the lens. And boom, everything is in focus, relatively. Now we got the same identical thing on the right as well as the left. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi on the right, Obi-Wan Kenobi on the left. So now I can switch back and forth. This is the smartphone with no pinhole on it. And you can see it's, they're the only thing in focus. Everything else is out of focus. With this pinhole on it, everything becomes equally focused. It's also called equally unsharp in pinhole language. There's a comparison. On the right is the non-pinhole, and on the left is the pinhole. So you have options. When you have a pinhole, you can decide if you want to make the background out of focus or not. You just take the pinhole off and boom, you're back to out of focus town on very close objects. So that's fun. The other fun thing about pinholes is that you no longer have the obvious focus cues as an audience member to tell you if something is very small or far away or any number of other things. So when you position objects close to the lens, they can be just as sharp as objects far away from the lens. And as you can see, with a normal lens photo, that's not the case. You either have to pick the background object, the middle ground object, or the foreground object. And uh, with a pinhole, that eliminates everything. Everything is now equally sharp, relatively. Equally unsharp, rather. So here's that same shot comparison. On the right is the smartphone on its own, and on the left is the smartphone with the pinhole. And you can see, with the pinhole, both old bends can be in focus at once. And, and again, focus is in air quotes, because with a pinhole, nothing is focused. Everything is equally unsharp. And for reference, this is a Leatherman tool, and it's got a, a couple centimeters gauge here. So the two on the top of that, you can see there's a millimeter there that right above the two, those two lines above it. Eh, don't worry about it. Uh, here's a quarter. That's cool. Let's move it real close. And now you can see a reflection of the, the California Tower. Oh, never mind. I put Ben in front of it. But now you can get a better look at close-up subjects and exactly how much detail you can get if you get really close to the camera when there's a pinhole on it. So we'll take him away and uh, take the quarter away. And look at the cool reflections on the, the Leatherman tool. I love that. I hope you had a good time.